Hello and welcome to another video of abstract thesis series and in today's video we are going to discuss one interesting question which you have asked is basically how do we do a cross join or Cartesian product in Power Query. So basically what happens the cross join or Cartesian product means if two tables the when you join them or when you do the Cartesian product basically all the values will repeat for each and every value of the table. So let me take you through Power BI and let me explain you the function, the cross join function which is there in the DAX and then the question is how do we do that in Power Query. So let me do one thing is basically in Power BI desktop, I'm going to use enter data which is under the home tab and I'm going to create two tables. And in the table one, let me have that say number, I'm going to have some numbers, let's say one, two, three, and four. And let me call it D1, the table D1, I'm renaming it. And I'm going to say load, very simple table. Once this table get loaded, we will load another table. So now let me add another table. Now the table which I'm going to add is basically having the let's say text. So let me call it the value. And let me have value let's say A, B and C only three values. And let me call this table as D2. And let me say load very simple stuff. Two tables having one one column. Now I go to the table view and I'll show you these tables. So D1 has 1, 2, 3, 4, D2 has A, B, C. Now how do we do a cross join? So in the DAX, in we go to the table tools. When we click on any of the table, we will get the table tool. And in the table tool, you have new table. Click on the new table and say cross. The name, left hand side is the name. And then we have a function cross join. We can give tables. So I give D1, comma, D2, two tables. And I just press enter. Now what you see is, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, A, 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 1, 2, 3, 4, B, 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 1, 2, 3, 4, C, 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 C. Now I want to same thing in Power Query. How do I do that? So I go to my report view or I could have done from there also and I go to transform data which is in the middle of the home tab. And there I have another option transform data which will take me to Power Query. Let me bring in the Power Query window here. how do I do it in Power Query? So if you remember, we have something known as merge queries under the home tab of Power Query on the right. But here, when you go to the merge queries, you don't have any option for Cartesian. And even if we do full outer join, it's not going to serve our purpose, especially there is no join column here. So how do I do that? But to do that, what I can do is I can take any one of these table and go ahead and create a new column, add column. I call it custom column and let me call it tab two. And let me simply give here D2. D2 is a table. So it starts showing me the table. Now, once I get a table in a column, it start giving me an expand icon. I'll expand this and it asks, what all column I say, I will say value column I need and I will uncheck this use original column name as prefix. Let me press OK. Now as you can see the moment I expand it gives me ABC, 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 ABC because I have done it with D1 that's how it's going to happen. So for value 1 ABC or then if you see for A it is 1, 2, three and four. Anyways, I, I could have done the same thing in D2. It would have given me uh, A1234, B1234, C1234. So this is how you do a Cartesian product or cross join in Power Query. So when I was trying to save this, it given me some error. So what I've done is basically I changed it to value one. The reason it is giving error because D1 and D2, we are again using in the cross join there the value column and so because of that, it was giving error. 
do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you